Hi, my name is Victor Contreras. I'm Director of Workforce Solutions for Chicanos por la Causa. Well, CPLC Workforce is the department that actually helps people connect to employment opportunities, to college and training opportunities, and to really career pathways. So we have an adult program that's really based here from Desert Sky Mall where we really look to help individuals in whatever it is that they need. Some folks just need assistance in preparing the resume. Some people need assistance in looking for a job. Other people need assistance in preparing for the interview. What we really try to do is uh, really case manage and have a holistic model where we're not trying to check a box, but we're trying to help people get to a job as quickly as possible and a job that they want to keep. Well, we actually uh, work with many careers, many industries, many type of occupations, but what we really focus on are what we would call sustainable jobs. These are jobs that are going to be here in five years, in 10 years. Uh, they have good wages, they have a salary uh, progression, so that means that in a year you're going to be making more money, and of course that there's a career pathway where you're not going to be at the same place in a year from now. Our youth program is actually based from here as well, and it's actually funded through the City of Phoenix, where we work with 16 to 24 year olds who are may have dropped out of high school and they need a GED or high school diploma, or they're looking for some sort of training like dental hygienist, welding, coding, those type of things. We actually help pay for that. And then we can give them additional internship opportunities where they can earn money while they're learning on the job using their credential. Well, one of the most successful uh, youth that we've had in our youth program has actually been Diana. We were so impressed by Diana and her, her charisma and her customer service skills that we actually brought on her on board as an intern for our youth program and now she's actually a case manager so she's actually helping other youth pursue their dreams and aspirations. Another story would be Ali. Ali was in four different refugee camps over two years, finally ended up here in the Phoenix area. We helped him out, got him an internship in construction. That's what he did in Afghanistan. He was actually a painter so he was focused on the skill trade and help him get a car, help him move in and Ali is one of our most successful youth. Now he's actually getting his CDL. Well, it changed his life. It, it changed what he was doing here in the United States and, and really his trajectory. He was an individual that fell through the cracks of the refugee system. And if it wasn't for his case manager, it took a great interest in him and our team. He wouldn't have had the apartment that he got or the car that we helped him buy. And just figuring out how to navigate the entire American workforce system, you know, is something that is foreign to many people. And then what we're now looking to do is expand some of our programs in, in Nevada, particularly in Las Vegas. We've got a very strong youth build program that is uh, nationally recognized for, for its success. We've got a strong workforce uh, system in New Mexico with CPLC New Mexico and Health New Mexico. And then of course we're doing some great work out in, in Harris County, the Houston market, where we're working with the county to see how we can expand economic opportunities for individuals who may have been left behind because of COVID-19. If anyone needs help, whether it's with a job or they might experience homelessness or they just have what an issue at home, give us a call and we'll connect them to as many resources that are available to us.